So like in terms of like networking, yep. Um, you you really be going hard because Bro, I'll be trying, you, I guess. <laughs> you literally were on stage and got to perform for Boogie. Yeah, I'm probably saying his name wrong, but he's West such a fire side, artist. Westside, 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 for real. Love him. He's a, such a great artist. So how did that feel? How did you even get to do that? Honestly, like, <laughs> so the feeling was like. Like, this is what it feels like. Like, this this is where I'm trying to get to. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and honestly, like, I kind of just knew knew somebody who kind of knew him. And, dude, he just told me, like, early, he's that like, yo, work. like, he's like, yo, like, he he's going to, like, ask someone to freestyle. He's like, yo, tell me what you're wearing. And I, just, I told him, I was like, yo, I'm going to wear this, you know, the sweater, these kicks. And he was like, all right, just make sure you, like, you right in the front type shit. Right, and, right, right, right. Um, you know, I was with, luckily, I was with my nigga D. Shout out to D. Shout out to D. Um, yeah. And you know his big ass nigga, he just like kind of like nigga kind of like just pick me up and just put me in the front. <laughs> and so I was like, "Yo, fam, put me down." But he was just like, you know, it was kind of weird. Like he looked at me and like he kind of made eye contact, like I'm gonna pick you. But then like he like kind of looked away. But then he looked back and he was like, "Yeah, come up." And I was like, "All right, back." Um, oh shit, the feeling was yeah, it's it's amazing. Like you know, I've had shows and like I've I've, I've had that kind of reaction from crowds and shit. Mm-hmm. But like I don't know, like just performing in front of him and like even him, like he like when he like when he dabbed me up, he's like, "Yo, you you kind of tough, bro." I was like, "Yo, like I appreciate you, fam." No like facts. you know what I mean. Um, but again, like it was just like it was amazing. Like you, that's that's where you want to be. Like that's right. where you want you want all those phones in your face. And like Literally. it was kind of just like a, a taste. Like he put me up that I saw what it seems to kind of be at the, the top of the mountain. And like right, right, you right, know, right, and right. I looked and I was just like. Yeah, I need this. Like I, I, and I feel like I have those moments sporadically, and I, oh, I feel like God always gives me those moments when I'm like really fucked up. Like when I'm down, I'm like, yo, what am I doing? Like, why am I still doing this right. shit? Shows like, you a sign to show yeah. that, like, this is why, like, you need to keep going. Yeah, and that's when, like, you know, I just feel like, you know, like I feel like in in a way, like God. He tests me, but like he always kind of like when I when I feel like I'm really about to break, like he always like gives me a reminder of like, nah, this is what you want, this is what you want, and like, right. I, I I love it in a sense. I love it. That's good. But it was great though. That's to answer the question. That's powerful. Mm-hmm. Um. So and like, how do you feel about like traveling to perform? Because I know you've been in New York performing yeah, too, I did. and just in general, like I know you also went to the convention, the music convention, the music that was convention in Nashville. Nashville so, yeah. yeah. How does it feel like traveling? Is well, honestly, the Nashville one, that was my first time traveling alone. Like, mm-hmm. traveling alone is, uh, it's it's interesting. Because, like, that whole time, like, while, well, like, I was on the airplane, getting off the airplane, going to the hotel room, staying in it myself. Like, I just kept thinking, like, yo, it's been five years. And, like, where where have I started type shit? Like, where mm-hmm. was I at and where I, where I am now? Right. And, like, it gives me perspective. Like, I really used to pray to be exactly where I am right now. Amen. And, like, it's this kind of thing. Like, we always want the end of the journey. We always want, like, yo, I want I want 100,000 100, fans. I want to mm-hmm. I want to sell out the Novo. I want to, you know what I'm saying, do, do, do the garden or whatever. And then, like, you kind of realize, like, yo, like, bro, like, I used to start and I, would, I just wanted one fan. Right, I just right, wanted right. 10 fans, 20 fans. And, like, I'm selling, like, 60 hoodies. And I'm like, yo, like... Okay. You know, in the moment you're like, oh shit, I got, I got, I got, I got fifty. Okay, I need fifty one. Okay, I got fifty. And if I need fifty two, and like you never really sit there and you're just like, oh shit, like I'm here. Mm-hmm. Um, so like that that one was really big on like the entire time. Like, I met I met great people, but like just traveling and going there alone, like I really just sat there with my headphones and just like I looked at I looked out the mirror I'm out the out the window and I was just like, yo, like I'm gonna do this. Like I like I don't care how many times I fall. I don't care how many times like. It doesn't work. It doesn't work out at that moment. Like I'm gonna do this, and no mm-hmm. matter what nobody says, like it's gonna happen. Right. Um. So that traveling for that one was great. The people I met, amazing. I met agents, talent buyers, A and R's, executives. Nice. And the game they told me, like just the shit they told me in general, was just like wow, like that's crazy. Like the way y'all look at it and the way we look at it is just so different. Mm-hmm. And I now I I realize what y'all are paying attention to and what I need to like fix for myself type thing. Right. Um so yeah, that was great. And then like obviously you know what I'm saying, going to New York, I had a show at SOBs, which is, you know, Sounds of Brazil, one of the most legendary stages in SOB's history. We have artists like J. Cole, yep. Drake, uh Kendrick Lamar, Miguel, Kanye West, Cardi B, the list goes on and on. Like being on that stage, like, again, like one of those things where like you know, like you're really here. Yeah, like, you're like you know, what you gotta like you're do. really like there. You're, you're putting in like that work. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's like dedication. Yeah, is paying off. and again, like we, it was me, Sid, 
D and my DJ uh, potential. We just like we, we was running late. Like we booked it. We booked it there. And like the whole time, like yo, we gotta get there. We gotta get there. We gotta get there. And like it never really registered. Even when I got there, like it still didn't register because I got there right before I was about to perform. Like they were like, and you know what I'm saying? We got Elos coming next. I was like, oh shit, like we on right now, bro. Like we live, yeah, we live right now. So like even then, like it still didn't register. Nothing really made sense to me until like after I got off and I again I killed the show. You know, all praise to the Most High. Thank you. Let me mm-hmm. kill that. You know, people come to like, yo, can I take a picture with you? And I'm like, oh, yeah, take a picture. What's up? Um, you know, give out my IG and shit. But it still never registered until, like, after I left. And, like, I was just in my bed that night. I was just sitting there, and I was like, yo, like, I just performed on the same stage as, like, Drake. And, like, and, like I went I went back and, like, looked at their performances, and it was the same exact stage. I was like, yo, that was really the same stage. And, like, started from the bottom, bottom now. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, yeah, like, when you when you get that moment of just, like, yo, like, I just did that. And, like, it never happens in that moment. I don't know right. why, because you're always so focused. I guess you might be focused on, like, what you're right. doing, but, like, you just look back and it's just like, wow, like, that's fucking crazy, bro. No, I feel you. Like, my it's legends. It's nostalgic, kind of. Yeah, like, like yeah. my legends have touched this stage and, yeah. like, I'm in the same. Like, I know, know what you mean. It's crazy. I feel man. you. I feel you. That's how sometimes I feel like when I'm, like, at a word show, just events, I'm like, yo, like, yo, like, this person was here. here like, yo, you know what like, I'm trying to say? Sat like, in the same seat as me. No, like, <laughs> like, I feel you on that. And it's like, yeah, it's, it's just part of the journey. And it's like, it's like, also like shows how much of like gen like generations and it's like that was like our generation growing up and it's exactly. like there's people who gonna look at us it's like this exactly. is their generation growing up so you know it's cool it's dope it's it's, it's, hey, it's it's just a different feeling bro like I just feel like I feel like when you're on your path like and this is something that I, I really just wanted to say like people are just so stuck on like I said like that end goal that end goal that end goal mm-hmm. and, and like as you should bro like that's where you want to be mm-hmm. but it's like a lot of people don't get the opportunity to just really sit there and be like yo like I did this and I feel like we don't we don't ever give ourselves our flowers like we always right, right, like right. yo niggas don't give us our flowers like give yourself your flowers like right, tell right, you like right. you know wake up and be like yo bro like you may not be who you want to be but like it's tough to get out of bed bro it's right. tough it's tough for you to wake up my nigga and be like yo I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that and actually go do it. And, like, even if shit doesn't go as smooth, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, whatever happened to you today, bro, like, it didn't go as smooth. But, like, yo, you still here. You still thugging right. it out. You still finessing. You, like, no, literally. It's, it's show's going literally, on. Literally, literally. And, like, give yourself a pat on the back for that. Because most people would have packed it in. No, literally. It's true. No, I appreciate that. And what you're saying is, like, literally facts. And it makes me think about, like, like, like giving yourself flowers is, like, showing yourself love. Yeah, bro. One love. One love. One love. And it, like, um, I know you have, like, your whole brand mm-hmm. and stuff going on, which is love oneself, love oneself, love oneself. and so um, yeah, talk about that because it seems like like what you're saying has to do a lot with like coping mechanisms yeah. and like a lot of times being an artist and just in general being a person like people we go through a lot of stuff, we go through a lot of anxieties, we go through a lot of doubt, nope. and like I like something like prayer, like you mentioned before, and just like realization of certain things helps me cope but like how do you cope and stuff like that when it comes to like that and just um, life i journal a lot honestly i'm saying that i haven't mm. i haven't journaled in a few a couple of weeks i'm forcing it but a um days for me, but, key. but like key. yeah like love oneself just basically came about because like um i was really like i don't know if you know i'm very open about it again like i suffer from obsessive compulsion disorder mm-hmm. and it's something that like i don't like at first i ran from it like i was i was afraid of it i didn't know right. what was going on. i didn't want people to call me crazy i never told nobody right and then, like, I just got a deeper understanding of it, and I was just like, yo, like, I'm not broken. I'm just different. I'm just me. And, like, coping, like, with it, like, I had to do a lot of therapy. And, like, you know, I feel like a lot of urban people, I feel like now we're starting to come around to it, the, the idea of therapy and, right, right, you know, right. what it what it means. But, like, therapy is, is beautiful, bro. Like, I, is. no one should be afraid to, like, tell their truth, be who you are, like, Yep. You are made the way you are for a reason. It's like Literally. don't try to change yourself. Just love right. who you are. Literally. Um. So I do a lot of therapy. I talk to myself in in the in the notes. Like I literally will be like, I like I'll envision myself like talking to like my younger self, and that's mm-hmm. that's that's who I feel like needed a the story. most. Yeah. Like that's who I feel like needed the most. Like you know, just help. Like that nigga was alone. That nigga didn't have nobody. Like he didn't understand what was going on. He, you know what I'm saying, he was just trying to fit in. And like I just yo, like I'm proud of you. Like. You continue to go on every time life knocks you down. Every day, nigga, when some bullshit comes up, bro, you continue. You pick, you pick yourself up, bro, and you keep going. And, like, honestly, a lot of times, like, I cry. Like, because right. you don't understand, like, people think, like, crying is weak. Like, bro, I cry all the time. Like, and that, I feel like that's just, like, releasing, releasing. like, this week's pent-up bullshit. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you just feel, nigga, I feel great. Like, mm-hmm. I cry, and I'm just like, ah, oh, word, nigga. Like, right, like, step one done. Step two. Saying? Move. Exactly. It's like. 
It's like I, I journal a lot, um, which makes me cry, which is my therapy. Um, and then I also, I, I meditate. Um, and, like, I just always try to be, I just try to, like, you know, just talk to myself throughout the day. Like, if you sit down and early ask yourself, like, yo, what's wrong with you? Like, what's going on? Like, how you feel? Mm -hmm. Like, your body will tell you. You might yeah. not like the it's, answer, mm -hmm. but it'll definitely tell you what, what's what's going on. Mm -hmm. and you just got to sit there and listen to yourself. And, you know, that's something that I try to do is just, you can't be right in this world if you're not right with yourself. Right, right, right. And that's, that's, that's my biggest thing. I agree with that. I, I agree with that. And I'm I'm heavy on, like, you know, 100%. I'm a person that I love to help others, love to help. Others, but it's like sometimes you know you have to in order to help others um, to the best of your ability, you have to make sure that you know you're helping yourself exactly, as well too, exactly. so that you can be able to be in the good mind state and good like. Like yo, if you always got your hand out for everybody else, who like who gonna hold you up? You know <laughs> what true. I mean? It's true. And I feel like that, especially our generation. Like our generation, I feel like has come from like being a people pleaser to like now, like we have so much scars and so much like. Uh, pain and anxiety that like we don't trust nobody right, right, and like right. it's so fucked up because like I even be saying like yo it's not right but like I still be doing it like I still have my moments where like right. ah, nah I gotta protect myself I gotta protect myself and it's like that's not how we're supposed to be I know yeah and yeah. like it, it's, it's fucked up it's a cold world man it's but a cold like, world but we gotta, we gotta stay warm gotta, gotta stay, stay warm, warm. We gotta, gotta stay, stay warm, warm. I, I feel you on that so um yeah so what inspires you to make songs cause you know you about to spit some one two one two <laughs> yeah, about to spit some. off the dome off the dome indeed I believe. off okay. the dome indeed um what, yeah, inspires, what inspires me to make, you to make songs um i think just one is therapy like one is just like i like to talk about the things i talk about like yeah i could talk about the street shit and like i could talk about you know all that rah rah and that's just cool mm -hmm. and you know what i'm saying talk about love and you know that's just cool too like that's right, all right, right. i feel like i just have different personalities like there are times where i can't be ignorant and just you know mm -hmm. be on some and that's how you shit. feel yeah and that's how you feel exactly it. and there's times where I'm, I'm in my heartbroken feelings and you know mm -hmm. or i want love but you know i feel like i just love i, like, I want to be my true like be true to you be true to who you are mm -hmm. and i want to make music that really Helps people like again. One of my favorite artists. I'm I'm very open about him is J Cole. Like J Cole, very. I've never met J Cole a day in my life. Nigga, I hope to meet him one day. But like that man just made songs where like when I heard him, I was like, Yo, this man's talking about me. Like he's no, he knows you. me, bro. Honestly, you know what's so crazy? I have a song that I wrote. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to you, and I mixed and mastered it myself. Oh, this is like you? years ago, and it has something to do with J Cole. I'm like every J Cole song. Do we? It just Yo, it's so funny. I'm gonna send it to you. One like day. that's so thing. Funny. His his music. Like again, like you make music for. Like the soul, and like yeah. that's what I love. Like I love when somebody hits me up and just like, yo, like I heard your song and it made me cry. I heard your song Ooh. and like I was going through this time and like I just needed it. And like I, I the the first ever memory I have of like really taking music serious and whatever, whatever was like this girl. She was walking by my dorm room and um she knocked on it. My first day in college making music, she knocked on my dorm room and was like, yo. Like, is that you making music? And I thought she was the RA, so I was like, oh, shit. I was like, nah, that's not me. Like, that's my roommate, whatever. I had a whole single or whatever. And she <laughs> she gives me, yeah, I was like, I actually had a dog in my room, too. So I was I was real bugging. First day, I'm about to get kicked out, bro. So she like, she's like, oh, yo, give him uh, give him this note. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I, I get the note, close the door, open the note up, and it just says, like, yo, like, I know you don't know me. I know that song wasn't made for me, but, like, I just, it's something that I needed to hear. Like, thank you so much that you gave me, like, the, the strength to continue on, the hope to continue on, the belief, and, like, just keep being a star. And that was the first thing, like, I ever got into, like, the first time I got, I put on a beat and I was like, all right, I'll make something. It was, it was probably ass, to be honest. But, you know, she was fucking with it, so. Right, right, right. And, like, that was the moment where I was like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Like, I want to I wanna touch so people. Dope. You know what I'm saying? That's so dope. And that's the thing, like, we, we all connected. Like, you, me, the person, and fucking... Right, we're Georgia, all connected. All connected like we all have these same feelings. And no matter how much we want to turn True. them off, we can't, bro. So no matter if I'm spitting about a girl that's getting a heart broke or a dude that's, you know, going to society, don't feel like he's enough because he's broke or whatever, we can all relate to it because like it's pain. We all know yep. pain. We all right. know happiness. We all know sadness. We've been there. We've we've we all gone, know emotion. We all know those emotions. And it's like that's where we that's where we connect. The, we connect and that's the real human bond. Yeah. And that's why I make music, to be honest. Period. Love Her. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now you know you about to Oh, it's freestyle time. You know, freestyle us on some, you know, on some soulful uh, soulful ish for real, for real. Real, um, for real. Shout out to Flip Magic for the beat. 
Slip magic. Shout blessed out Slip us. Magic. You yeah. blessed us for real. Hold on. Give and me a second. Yeah, he about to mm, it up. So give here we second. go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me one. Let me put this joint on real quick. Oh. I thought the beat dropped, but young niggas got me up, my nigga, like a seesaw. Cause one moment you high, the next moment you down low. I'm feeling nervous in my soul. Like, can I really go for mo? Can I really fucking blow? They tell me, boy, you better not quit. Cause the shit that you didn't put in, man, gon' really get you rich. And I ain't really talking about my pox, I'm talking about my health. Talking about my mental wealth. The only thing I know won't never fail. Lord, these niggas still popping pills. These niggas still talking shit, but these niggas still never heal. How the fuck you breaking families? Tell me how. How that go? How you knocking up a girl and then skating on her own? How she supposed to raise her son? How she supposed to play it young? How the fuck you go and play her on and break her down and leave her dumb? How you looking at yourself and really don't know yourself? How you trying to grow my nigga but still don't know where the belt? Hold on, let me turn this shit up now. I'm still going. I'm gonna really lock in now. Hold on, hold the phone, hold the phone. All right, we good. Fuck it, let's do it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I say silly me, it's hard how this shit could be a trilogy OG's telling me, boy you need more to be They telling me talk about this weak shit, that street shit The shit these niggas never seen, I gotta keep it G shit Talk about the hoes, or you talk about the dough Let's really talk about your soul, the shit you really never know My nigga D told me, hop up on the beat and let him know I said Lowe's the fucking king, the young nigga, he the GOAT Oh, K no way, they wanna tell me lies They're telling me to go and get it I'm trying to go and grind I told myself you gotta get it, never quit it Stay legit it, nothing mm. Mm. Prolong And I've been going hard for so long Crazy how the middle of your story Still feeling like the prologue All I wanna do is take my chance and go and shine Show the legends that I'm up there Going eye for eye, I'm never going blind Moments come and moments go But that's just how it flows Tell me kill the game, my nigga And it's just how I know Brand new Mercedes parked out, my nigga let him blow. This young nigga got the game, they call him Young Los. Yeah. Brand new Mercedes on that 10 speed. Niggas hot as Hades when they looking to attempt to please me, ease me. Baby wanna freak me, she come around and hit me when you free B. No way, no way, all I do is count chains. I'll stand the niggas tryna play with me, they cannot bang. Looking up my name, you will catch it in the Hall of Fame. Hardest game I got, my niggas tryna take me all insane. Please stop hating, tell me what it is. They making reservations for the kid, the topic of the shit. Please stop playing. Please stop waiting. I made the hottest shit out of nothing. Just let me go and take it. All the vibes when you're looking for vibes. All the vibes.